My name is Gareth Bonello. I'm a musician from Wales. I play under the stage name The Gentle Good. Music can bring people from all over the world together. It's a way of communicating without language. Um, it's a way of communicating emotionally and intellectually. This understanding helps overall in sort of the global understanding of each other's cultures. In uh, 2011, I was very fortunate to be given uh, the opportunity to travel to Chengdu uh, to take up a residency organised by the British Council and PRSF in association then with the Chengdu Associated Theatre of Performing Arts. So I had a residency there for seven weeks, uh, working with musicians from the Associated Theatre, sharing our uh, traditions and writing new music. My Chinese is not very good at all. I did my best. A lot of the musicians, most of them didn't speak English either. So we were more or less communicating through music. I think that that's the strength of music is that you don't need language and you don't need to share um, even a culture. People can appreciate music on a kind of emotional level and on an intellectual level, just as it is. Personally, my greatest pleasure was to sit with the musicians individually and just ask them to play me something from their instruments so that I could get a sense of what the instrument sounded like, um, maybe some traditional tunes and things like that. So I just remember Miss Jan Chen playing the Gujun, and that was the first time I'd heard a Gujun live in a room, and that just blew me away. The range of sounds that she was able to get out of it, the story and the journeys she could take you on, um, playing some traditional Sichuan pieces and also some well-known um, traditional Chinese pieces as well. So that was fantastic. Out of that residency came an album that I wrote called A Bal Van Varwal, which means the immortal bard. I wanted to tell the story of Libai and use that as a kind of framework for, for the narrative. So it goes from his young early days, leaving home and um, trying to find inspiration in the mountains, and then goes to his death. On top of that, I wanted to do a kind of almost like a sound portrait of Chengdu. So I was doing a lot of field recordings of different spots in Chengdu, uh, you know, people selling noodles, the construction work, birds singing in the park, all this kind of thing, to try and capture some of modern China at the same time. So the album kind of takes you through Li Bai's life story, and it's written all in Welsh, um, but uses a lot of imagery from Li Bai's poetry. I collaborated here in the UK with a string quartet called the Mavron Quartet and a composer called Seb Goldfinch who arranged strings for the Mavron Quartet. We recorded some of the pieces in Chengdu with Lin Yaping and the musicians in the studio in Chengdu and also I recorded with a UK Chinese ensemble uh, which are based in London. And so in the end it was a kind of a real collaboration of musicians from Wales and from London and from China. And I think it's a really interesting album. It certainly was very popular in Wales. People were very fascinated by it because it, I don't think anything like it had been done before. It won the Welsh Language Album of the Year in the 2014 Eisteddfod, which is a really high honour in Welsh culture. In 2012, I was also invited to perform in Chengdu again and in the Forbidden City Concert Hall in Beijing. So that was a real honour. Well, in 2015, when I went back to China for the UK-China uh, Year of Culture, um, I ha had the amazing opportunity to play in uh, again in Chengdu and also in Chongqing and Kunming, and the reception was always wonderful. Uh, people were fascinated, I think, to learn uh, more about the work that I'd done, but also why I was interested in Li Bai, why I was so interested in Chinese traditional music. They'd never heard that combination, I think, of sort of Welsh folk and classical style music combined with traditional Chinese music. At the moment I've been working on a new album of Welsh traditional music, but the collaboration with the musicians in China kind of made me uh, rethink and relearn the way that I played the guitar, and that still remains to this day. So um, when I play the guitar, sometimes 
it can sound like a Chinese instrument or it can sound like there's Chinese scales and it's because of the influence of, of that period in time. And I still do play um, some of the songs from the album live. So for instance, last weekend I was in Swansea and so I played, I played one of the traveling songs, uh, Rui Lan Vri, which is the seagull, which is about Li Bai's uh, traveling departure from White King City. Hopefully I'll get a chance to play the album in its entirety again one day with all the musicians. The work that I've done in China, I've been able to share it back here in the form of records, in the form of live performances and a theatre production. And it means that a lot more people now in Wales have an understanding of Li Bai and of Chinese uh, traditional music. It's not just about sharing or um, creating a piece that works together, but actually it's about understanding your own culture a little bit better and then reflecting it back to your people. If it's done right, if it's done sensitively and with that trust, then it's very valuable. Sharing is the strength of, of, of music and, and the way that it can bring people together.